Yo gang, what's going on? I'm the Blue Ranger and welcome back to Destiny. Now of course, as you can see, we are back into it with Iron Banner. It would seem that they fixed the glitches and issues they were having after patch 2.3 and it would appear that they've got everything running so we can get back in Iron Banner. So today what we're gonna look at is what this bad boy back here, not my awesome dance skills titan, but the other titan, Lord Saladin, has brought us as offerings. Now I am on the Xbox One so I have nothing really to show you in terms of the PlayStation exclusives, however, I know that it is the helmets, and uh, I'm sure the perks are pretty similar. They usually are, but you'll have to go elsewhere to find those. However, they're offering the Mark, which is fantastic. They're offering the helmet, which is fantastic. The machine gun's all right, and the scout rifle is actually pretty crappy, but I think this role will fix it. That being said, let's talk about these things. So, obviously, with the Mark, you're going to want to pick this up if you're a new player because it's going to help you get better reputation in the Iron Banner right off the get-go. You're going to be a lot happier with that decision. Uh, uh, same goes with an emblem and a shader, but you're going to have to work your way up to get one of those. Well, same with this, obviously. But contacting Destiny servers, that's actually something I want to talk about, but we'll go back there in a second. Uh, the helmet, I don't actually have a huge preference on helmets. Uh, I usually look for certain builds. This one's intellect strength, this one's intellect strength. The problem with the intellect strength is that they actually have lower roles than intellect discipline or discipline strength. I'm not sure why, I haven't really figured it out, but they have lower roles. So it's actually what I would say is the like the least preferred of all of the roles. Uh, as far as gain super bonus energy from grenade kills and things like that, that stuff doesn't... I'm gonna be honest, uh, Angel of Mercy can be helpful if you're running it in trials and things like that, but for the most part, I don't see a whole lot of use out of these perks. So, uh, this and, and shield starts recovery immediately after orb pickup, that can be helpful in something like PvE. I don't see a lot of it in PvP, but uh, it's more of an aesthetic thing to me. Uh, as for the weapons, we got Bredemart Stand, the uh, heavy machine gun with accurized ballistics, smart drift control, field choke, Spray and play, fitted stock, hand laid stock, reinforced barrel, and crowd control. Frankly, not a bad roll at all. Uh, spray and play and uh, crowd control, that's going to do a good work for you. And hand laid stock will really uh, help the stability of this weapon. However, the range drop off is, is more than half. It's, it's pretty much, it's, it shows up here when you, when you highlight it. That's, that's pretty gnarly. But the, the stability is, is pretty incredible. So uh, it depends on what you choose to do there. Reinforced barrel is going to give you more range, but it is going to absolutely nuke your stability so you got to kind of play with that um the the fitted stock will help the stability a bit without affecting the range you might want to go that route uh that being said let's move on attention contacting destiny servers what is up now that being said call, call advances duty we've got red dot oas one of my favorites ranged lens rls3 true sight is one of my favorites with crowd control, perfect balance, braced frame, custom optics, and hidden hand. This gun is dirty. It is dirty. Now, it's an archetype that isn't necessarily preferred. It is the slower archetype of scout rifles. But if you can land those headshots, this is going to be an absolute monster. With crowd control and hidden hand and the option of perfect balance or braced frame, I can't really see anyone using custom optics on this roll. But... Brace frame and perfect balance will both do beautiful things for you. Uh, brace frame is going to give you a pretty serious uh, boost to your stability, um, but you got that reduced uh, magazine size, which at 15 shots in the magazine, that's kind of low already. But perfect balance, that gives you that perfect up and down, or uh, yeah, that makes it so it's up and down movement. No, it nerfs the up and down movement. Ah, I forgot which one it is. I think it's counterbalance moves your not side to side, so this might actually nerf your up and down so it'll still go side to side a little bit i don't know either way perfect balance is going to help you out a whole bunch i don't know why my brain is just forgetting that one right now but uh, i think if you run straight across this top line right here uh you can either do red dot oas or true sight is both are amazing choices for this weapon uh you're gonna be very happy as long as you can land those shots if you're someone who needs a little bit more of a forgiving weapon you know, if you're looking for scout rifles you're gonna need something more along the lines of a dis 47 or the Trials of Osiris Scout Rifle uh, that even have a chance to give you that full auto roll. Um, but this is a fantastic weapon. I think this week's uh, run is pretty awesome. I know for the PlayStation people, the helmet is pretty sought after. So uh, that's uh, 
that's pretty exciting. You know, same shaders, same emblems, same bounties. Everything else is pretty much the same. But the other thing I wanted to talk about quickly is <laughs> that thing that keeps popping up besides the HUD disabled thing. The contacting Destiny servers. It's just something I've noticed in the last few minutes as I'm going through all of the all my characters and picking up bounties, frankly, because I usually put off De uh, Iron Banner until later in the week, uh, is... The, the, the servers seem to be struggling. I almost never have lag issues. I'm the only person on my Wi-Fi. I, I pay for pretty high bandwidth. Um, and for some reason, I have been getting... Basically, every time I try to change anything inside of the UI, it yells at me. Get out of here, birds! Pooping all over the place. But... For me, it's uh, it's it just shows kind of uh, a little bit. It gets a cause for alarm, in my opinion. I've got to play the game still, see how it goes. But the number of times I've had that pop up on both PlayStation and Xbox as I pick up all my bounties was pretty alarming. So hopefully, uh, all the server issues die down. I have a weird feeling that that has to do with everyone jumping into Iron Banner right after uh, a big. Uh, you know, they were just doing a bunch of maintenance. So right after maintenance where no one was allowed to play having Iron Banner come back I have a feeling that it's just a combination of those two things. However, it is Concerning for me to see that happening. So hopefully it's not a major issue that being said I think Iron Banner this week is a solid bunch of weapons definitely get to rank five and pick up that that scout rifle uh, I would be hard-pressed to see a better roll coming out of gameplay itself. That's a pretty solid roll. I do think that they are kind of spoiling us a little bit with the rolls that come with Lord Saladin. Uh, the last three or four Iron Banners have had positively god roll weapons coming out of it, and uh, I think it's kind of a way to appease the masses when it comes to finding weapons that work for them and work well in both PvP and PvE. So... Uh, guys, thank you so much for coming by checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it Let me know in the comments section below what you want me to want to see from me in the destiny universe uh, I and if you want to see more of this go to twitch.tv slash I'm the blue ranger I'm there almost seven days a week come by check it out. See how I'm doing and guys I hope you have fun in the iron banner. See ya